when I was six, my mom told me there was a lightsaber class going on in AD Dempsey. So I thought it was going to be really cool. I could like use a sword, swing it around and like have fun. My mom lied to me. Being a dancer was probably the last thing that came to my mind. Before I knew about Latin dance, I did not do any dance. I didn't know Latin dance like even existed. Changlong has a flair for performance in his you know kindergarten days. <laughs> His brothers were playing like basketball, rugby. We are not from the family of dance, but the idea of dance sport was like, hey, I think this will work. Five, six, seven, and ho! There is a Latin dance school nearby. We say, let's go for it. If you were to ask him to go for a Latin dance class, straight in my face would be, no, I'm not going to do it. Dance is not for boys. Good dance. The first thing I saw, dancers gym studio, and I was like, Mommy, are you sure this is the correct place? <laughs> but then you just say, it's okay, just go, bye. And I was like, no choice, I was stuck inside. <laughs> when the class ended, I first thought like, I'm never going back here ever again. He was like, Mommy, this is dance. And I said, wow, did you have fun? <laughs> After that, I thought for a while and then I told my mom, actually, I want to like continue this. Grooving to the music was like actually kind of fun. I didn't know that your body could like move in this kind of way. And I continue for the like, next four years. So hip and hip, ready? And Chang'e, can you do this when you do that? Okay, ready? Ten and four, one, two and three. Cha -cha. Boys very rare. We have like 90% girls and 10% of boys. It comes once a week. Hardly miss class. Very, very consistent with the attendance. I do enjoy performing for an audience. You can like sort of show off. I was quite excited about going for classes and like performances once a year. But I never imagined I would go for a competition for dance. This is event number one right now in the Diso Open. After your Jiangjiang semi final. Hello, Jiangjiang. Hello, Jiangjiang. Hello, Jiangjiang. In Latin, compared to like ballet or jazz, everyone is dancing at one time. So you must like get the judges' attention or like the audience's attention. You can be really good, but no one notices you and it's just a waste. She just has this little charm about her, which is just special that when she dances on the floor, people actually watch. When we first started doing competitions, people and judges would always come up to me and like, oh my god, this girl is so good, so cute. I'm like, which one? Oh, that girl with the side ponytail. I was six years old when I did my first competition. My favourite part of dance is competing and interacting with like the audience because they will smile and clap and like they'll push me to like dance harder. She's dancing round after round. There are rounds coming from the heats, quarterfinals, finals and semi-finals. So if she takes part in five dancers per age group, that's ten dancers and then you multiply that by the number of rounds. Each round maximum they dance for is like one and a half minutes, but it's really intense for that one and a half minutes, and then it's one dance after another. So you need to be able to have the physical stamina to last each round. So I'm everything: makeup artist, hair person, camera woman, to take videos, make sure she's there for her event on time. So it's been a routine pretty much every single competition. 
I've also become part critic. I mean, sometimes if she's not all together there, like maybe energy level is not enough or her eye contact is not enough, I will tell her. The first four years, I've never really watched him dance. Even when there are performances, it is the, I will drop you off, you do your dance, mommy will fetch you home. That was it. I have another two boys running a family of, you know, five people. And at the same time, we also have our own business to, to take care of. So it is really challenging. So we, we have to squeeze in the time. Hi. So how's class? The last one year, Chang Long asked to attend more classes. I told him, okay, let's look at our schedule and our timetable. But most importantly, are you going to learn how to take a bus so that you can help yourself to the school? Welcome to my room. This is my dance mat and mirror where I practice my steps. We purposely put a mat on the floor so it's not so slippery when I practice my dance steps. And now I have another embarrassing secret to share. This is my K-pop collection. The Seraphim is my favourite group. I started collecting the K-pop albums and merchandise at the start of this year. I always tried to like learn the choreographies, so my mom said, why don't I send you to a class so you can like learn from a teacher. I like take a once a week class. It's very different from Latin because the posture is more like relaxed. Although I try other genres of dance, I still prefer Latin. My other friends in school, they um, also dance, but they don't really consider Latin dance a real like dance. They would leave me out in like things like a performance or like discuss about something. They'll be like, oh no, you won't know how to do it because you only dance Latin. I know that like if they dance Latin, they wouldn't be very good, so I didn't really care. I'm going to have ice cream with my brother today. I think I have chocolate. Chocolate is quite good. Okay, hi. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No one told me he was dancing. Mm. One random afternoon, we were going to have lunch at actually this restaurant too. Then I saw my brother walk down from the staircase at the dancing school. I didn't know what he was wearing. Then I asked him, why are you wearing all long sleeve and long pants? And he's like, oh, I'm dancing now. So I was like quite shocked at first. And I was like, mm. I was quite scared he might get bullied. Especially since it's a Latin dance is a sport that like boys don't really take part in and I feel like you'll get mocked at and laughed at. So the first thing I told him was, you know, if anyone in school like you know threaten you or say, oh you're dancing and laughed at you, you know, tell me. And I'll talk to them about it. No one has um, mocked about my dancing so far. They are quite impressed that I can like move my body. These are all my medals and trophies from the past four years. And this is my favourite trophy. I like the design of it and I won it in China this August. Since last year, Tilly has been going for competitions at a higher frequency, two competitions a month, if we can manage, if not, at least once a month. All of these are from my solo competitions. I was just training as a solo. Dancer. There wasn't a regular partner that was dancing with me. Latin Ballroom is a partner dance, ultimately. How you dance with a partner, your connection, your... Everything is so different. If she wants to go far in this Latin Ballroom industry, she will definitely need to start partner work. And um, I always joke that it's really more difficult than having a boyfriend, a girlfriend. It takes so much to work together. Then one day, Ms. Orencha found someone who could be my partner. I didn't know there were competitions for dance. I thought like it's just a leisure thing. I would prefer doing solo because like I felt holding a girl's hand was like not really nice. 
as a solo dancer, you can only like get that far. In the older categories, all the really like good ones will have gotten a, a partner. If I really want to like pursue it, I have to find a partner. Last year, like July, Miss Lajia Banat asked together. It was a TV show for Latin dance. Miss Arantia told them she needed volunteers, so she chose the two of us to show the partner dancing. So that was the first time they met actually. It was so awkward for both of them. They didn't talk. So after the filming, I just like, eh, the height, okay ah. So they look quite nice visually. So I remember asking them, do you want to dance together? Do you want to partner together? And in my heart I was like, oh, please, please tell me yes, please. <laughs> I think it would be like fine to like partner up. I waited for him to say yes. Because <laughs> like I wanted to partner him, right? And if he said no and I like said yes, then I'm really dumb. <laughs> Your friends and classmates know that you guys are dancing together. Oh yeah, yeah. Yes. They tease me. It's very annoying. My friends think he's hot. Don't put that in. <laughs> <laughs> no, I want to embarrass them. <laughs> That's not good though. Who is the more competitive person between themselves? I think it's me. Her. <laughs> who is the more boss? Her. <laughs> but who has to be the boss during events? Me. <laughs> That's why it's hard. <laughs> Off the floor, I'm the boss. <laughs> On the floor, he's the boss. It's fair that way. When I first saw her, she's like really good at dancing, like way better than me. I felt that I had to improve myself to be the same as her. You want to show that you're leading her into the space, okay? So Tilly, you want to shape a little bit more as well. For partner dance, the gentleman should be leading most of the steps. I have to be like the leader to lead her to do the steps by like moving the hand, like giving her signals. Sometimes I won't give her any connection at all and she'll feel nothing and then we look disconnected. No. You got lead? No. <laughs> there were moments when we were learning the steps, he took longer to learn it. So there were times where like he forgot the steps or sometimes I forgot the steps. And then we had to like redo it and we got like a bit annoyed. Look at each other first, breathe before you He connect. was early. <laughs> But if he's early, then you've got to respond faster, isn't it? If we messed up the routine, I would be like frustrated, but like not at him, just at the situation. Like a few months after we first started, I felt like I wanted to like stop because we were like not dancing well. I felt that I was not dancing well, so yeah. Do you tell anyone about what you were feeling? No, because like I was the only person that could partner her. And you still feel now sometimes? Yeah, right now, it's just like, I will improve lah. Their first partner class was around in August, and their first call was in October 2022. I always believe competition for them is really improvement, not so much of winning. Because to me, there will never be a time that you are very ready. It was extra stress on him because it was his first solo first, and first solo partner. and first partner and my first competition. Yeah, our routine was quite simple at that yes. time, so it was just doing the steps. Yeah, like together. If we get embarrassed at that competition, like people are gonna know us as that couple who was embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> and the first place was the couple. Yes, and the we won. Felt we didn't like get yeah. embarrassed on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> We've gone through like many competition, like emotions yeah. and emotions. <laughs> drama. <laughs> that was only in black. Well done, then. thank you very much to you two. The competition is far away, expensive, very prestigious. You're famous if you are successful there, so it was like a lot of pressure to do that. In our heads, we know. Like, like everyone is just good. Yeah. How much do you practice? 
six days a week. We spend so much money, we spend so much time, we skip all that school, so we have to like at least do it well. Yeah, get into like some semi-finals round. Tilly took it a little bit hard on herself. There were a lot of meltdowns, mainly just to really try to put her stress into words. I think she didn't know how to verbalise it. Sometimes I really forget that they are just like 11-year-olds. I was just like blackface. Yeah, she was like that and then like, ooh. I wouldn't really know if she was faking it. I wasn't ready for it. Wasn't ready for what? Oh, it's just to like just suddenly just pour on me. Pour on me? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't mean it to happen, okay. But he was a good partner and gave me space and Mikey didn't. I like, didn't disturb her. Because yeah. I knew if I disturb her, she would like rah rah. <laughs> 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 the last day at Blackpool, she apologised to me and I was like, yeah, it's okay. Yeah, that was nice of you. Solo events, we got semi-finals. Both of us got semi-finals. How about the partner events? Oh, we didn't get in for any of them. No. <laughs> Compared to the other dancers, we were quite terrible. Yeah, some of them have been training for seven years. Yeah, like seems like But young. we had been training for like six Few months. months. <laughs> When I do partner, I feel like I'm not alone. If you mess up, you're in this together, you mess up together. I learn how to like handle someone's emotion. Tilly and I are going to Ipoh for a dance competition. This is my second time going to Ipoh. During the previous trip, um, we did quite terribly. It was quite bad. This trip is a chance to redeem ourselves. Okay, three, two, one. Yeah. <laughs> when I was in Bangkok, I bought a t-shirt for Changlong so we could wear it to Ipoh <laughs> in the airport. It is a bit funny to wear this shirt <laughs> because like it's very weird to wear just a portrait, like a drawing <laughs> of a boy. <laughs> it's very early in the morning and I'm here to do my hair and makeup. Today, Miss Orange is helping me. She is more experienced doing the hair than mommy. Sorry, mommy. <laughs> so, how long does the whole preparation process really take? Um, around two and a half hours. It's not very comfortable for my hair to be like this, but no choice. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Morning. Morning. Let's tuck this in. I felt doing the hair was like really troublesome. I saw how the girls do their hair and how long they take. Then I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so lucky to take like such a short time to do my hair. Solo medalist under 14 and under 12 events. From quarterfinals for every dance, from over 30 dancers, they will keep minusing and minusing to like around six to eight dancers. It's like overwhelming because like a lot of people will be like at you at one time. This is my new dance competition costume for my partner events. It's pink colour. I feel it like, looks quite good. He has been wearing this black and white suit 
for a long, long time. It's a different image for Chang <laughs> A new era has begun. <laughs> Been up since 4 a.m. He's been up since 6 a.m. Um, 6 a.m. How many rounds have you guys done? More than 40. The same for me as well. And we still have one more. There's five couples in the event. Usually, the events in the evening are the amateur professional couple, mostly the highly anticipated yeah. and more exciting events. We wanted to do better than we did last time in Ipo, and I think we achieved it. He has very low expectations for himself and for me. Yeah. Do you think you have made up your expectations? No, I don't think I have, but it's okay. Thank you very much, dancers. Our juniors under 12 can leave the floor, please. There's like still more improvement to be done, but it was generally. I, it's okay. In the junior under 12B, third place is 87, Chiang Lung and Matilda Cook. The feeling of needing to improve more after a competition is always there. My ambition is to be a professional dancer when I grow up. I wanted to be a professional dancer since young. I think I want the same future as her. I will also be a, a professional dance competitor in the future. So, yeah. I don't see any problem that will cause us to not become um, dance partners. Your grammar is really bad. Yes. <laughs> I don't see any reasons why we stop. Why will we? Why we will stop? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Do you want me to say it? <laughs> I don't see any reason why we should stop being partners. Yes. <laughs>